right, man, we back on some WWE 2K24. Before we get into it, man, I want to go ahead and say this off the rip. The video or, or the footage that y'all going to be seeing is from Smack Talks. Now, I hope I ain't stepping on no toes from using his footage or whatever, but I just want to talk about some things that's new into the game or that they are implementing into the game this year. Uh, I hope this ain't no issue or nothing. Uh, also, in the description or somewhere down at the bottom, the little people that I do have. Y'all can go ahead and go over to Smack Talk if you don't know who he is already. He keep you up to date with anything that come with WWE 2K24 or WWE 2K. You know what I'm saying? In general, he lets you know the newest features and all the other stuff before they come out or let you know some things that you've never seen before if you didn't know that you were able to do it inside the game. So I just want to go ahead and get all that stuff out at the beginning, man, that the footage that you are seeing is from Smack Talk. Go over there, show some love if you don't know who he is, which I think most of y'all should already know who Smack Talk is. But go over there and show some love to them and all the other stuff, man. Now, we're going to go over a lot of things that they are adding to the game this year. Um, now, I also do want to still put my two cents on Universe Mode, but we'll probably wait until the end before we start to really uh, talk about Universe Mode and all the other good stuff, man. Now, the first thing that I just want to go ahead and get straight into is the new weapons features that they done added into the game. Now, we are able to actually throw weapons and stuff in the game. Now, I don't know how I feel about it because one thing, I did not play uh, AEW. I haven't played the game at all. I know a lot of people said the game got a little boring because it didn't have that many max types, but the game was fun. It was just the bar minimal max types that they had and all the other stuff, which AEW is a brand new game that's just, that just entered the market and stuff like that. So I, I wouldn't expect that they first game to be just crazy mind-blowing but for the things that i did hear about aew when it first came out it was a decent game for it for it to be a starter game that they just came out of nowhere with uh, i hope that they continue to keep uh adding more things into the game because if you don't notice or if you haven't noticed look at WWE 2k24 they are starting to implement some things from aew into the into their games to make the game even more better the competition will make will make the game more better. It'll be better for the consumers and all the other stuff if they have competition. Now, the things that has been an issue is that WWE have not had any competition for some years. But as long as AEW stay around, I feel like it'll put a little pep in their step and make them actually, you know what I'm saying, get on their stuff, bro. But they have implemented that now you are able to throw things in matches. You are able to throw chairs. I think they got sodas. Uh, kendo sticks you are able to throw a lot of things trash cans all that man i think y'all should see the footage in here where um randy orton had threw a trash can at ko i do feel like it would be how can i say i like the feature let me put it like that i like it um i feel like it'll make some funny moments inside certain things and uh, in certain matches and all that stuff so i am rocking with the the throwable weapons that's in the game now i do feel like they can little tweak a little bit because sometimes it's a couple of little throws that i that i feel like they look the kind of little wonky you know what i'm saying that they, they need to like uh, you know what i'm saying tighten up a little bit but the overall uh concept of it i'm rocking with it man i like the that they actually added um throwable things inside the game and all the other stuff man uh, but but yeah, that's my opinion on the weapons, man. I'm not gonna try to take too long on each section. Now another thing that he was talking about is uh, they have new blood mechanics that's inside the game now. Now once the person start bleeding, I think it start to now roll down their face, depending on if they land down, they start to go on their chest, it goes to the back of their head. I think Stone Cold had uh, blood on the back of his head, um, and it also stays on the mat even after the. Um, the game the match is over with uh so i i'm not like crazy over blood like every time i play any WWE game i put blood on regardless uh just to see some blood is good enough for me i think the reason why i'm not that crazy about blood is because if i hurt you it don't it don't i don't you don't hold your head like if i hurt your leg you're not gonna start lifting you're not gonna move slower i wish they add mechanics like that into the game if they're gonna add blood into the game that if i if I work on your, your your chest area or your stomach or your abdominal, I want you to hold it. You know what I'm saying? I want it to impact what you are doing. Uh, if, if I'm working on your leg, I want that to slow you down. I want it to make it harder for you to climb. It takes longer for you to get up, you know, on top of the ropes or something like that. You feel me? So even though the blood is cool to me, it's not nothing that crazy to me. 
if, if I can go ahead and say that. Uh, but I am, you know what I'm saying? I'm like iffy, iffy on it. I'm cool. If it's in, it's in. If it's ain't, it ain't. So I'm not really tripping on if blood is in. But I know a lot of people are excited about the new blood feature and all that stuff. So at, overall, I'm happy that everybody else is happy about it. You know what I'm saying? And speaking on all that, too, I wish that soon that they would implement some type of stamina uh, method. Now, I know we got the little blue bar where we can just click and just jump straight up or whatever. Um, which the blue bar is really mostly for what your finisher or something like that you know what I'm saying you get your blue bar all the way up you get a signature or a finisher and if you use it you don't get it you know what I'm saying but I wish that they add some type of stamina I don't believe we in a long match and you still able to move like nothing's wrong with you especially if I don't got your body red your legs red or your arm red or whatever situation I feel like eventually your stamina should start to deplete over time um, not to the point that it's OD I'm not asking for the stamina just to drain all the way down where the dude can't move at all. Um, just to hinder a little bit to make the game a little bit more exciting. I know that's probably something that a lot of people probably don't want because they also want to make this kid friendly and open to everyone to play. And it'll kind of make it kind of, um, how can I say, a little bit harder <laughs> for some people to be able to play. But I don't think it'll really make a big difference in the community to me. One, I like my games a little bit difficult anyway. If I put myself on legendary, I want legendary to be difficult. The last couple of years that I've been playing um, WWE, it's been so easy to actually come to beat these matches. It's not that harsh, especially if you have an actual character that's up to par, like at least an 80 or higher overall, it shouldn't be that hard to win a match in the game. So I wish that they add more things um, in the game to make you have to play a little bit smarter just a little bit i'm not asking them to take the little instant get up blue bar or whatever away i'm not asking them to put stamina in the game where by like 30 seconds now you out of auto you completely out of stamina or your, your stamina is completely gone but i wish that if i start working on your legs or your body some of your stamina go down a little bit i'm not asking for the whole thing at least go down to 50 percent and they, it don't go no farther than 50 percent but you still have to be mindful on running or something like that or you'll get tired as you running so if i kept my stamina you try to run out the ring and run away from me or something like that because i have a finisher i can catch up with you because that's one thing i don't like either people get out the ring and just start running away from you you got a finisher and all that but yeah it is what it is bro that's just one of the thoughts in my head but let's keep it going now this right here might be another unpopular opinion bro i know a lot of people probably get mad at me for saying this i really don't care about the camera angles now, I understand if you're trying to get certain camera angles for making uh, content, things of that nature or something like that. Cool. I understand that. You can get the camera angles that you need to make a video, make it more exciting and, and, and all that good stuff. Okay. But just to watch a match, I, I don't understand it. I don't understand the different camera angles. I guess this year would be my year to find out why a different camera, camera angle would be good. I really don't care. As long as I'm able to play my matches and fight and everything goes good, I'm straight. I don't care if it's at the top of the ramp. I don't care if it's in the bottom of the ring. I don't care if it's on the side of the ring. To me, it just don't matter. <laughs> but hey, like I said, it's an unpopular opinion. I know a lot of people are loving the different camera angles. I just don't care for them. I just need to get in, let me do my work. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? In the match. But, you know what I'm saying? It is, to, it is what it is, man. To each is on. You feel me? If you love it, you love it. I don't care if it's in or not. It don't really matter to me. Just let me fight. That's all I care about. But that's just my opinion. Just my thoughts. That's all. Now, I'm not going to lie. This feature kind of had me kind of like Ugh, at the beginning because the way they were showing it, it was just constantly going and going and going. The new trading features, uh, I think trading blows feature. I didn't like it because I'm like, I'll be sitting there going back and forth for a long time, especially if I'm going to get somebody that's decent at the game. Um, I, I don't want to have to keep going back and forth, but I heard that the, the little bar gets smaller and smaller to hit. And then it starts to get faster and faster as it goes around. Um, I'm, I hope that it gets to the point that it get very difficult because I don't want to be sitting there trading blows back and forth if I'm good at it and the other person I'm planning to get is good, good at it. I don't want to be sitting there going back and forth doing this. We got to wait until somebody missed three times before the trading blows feature is out the way. You know what I'm saying? Before it's over with. 
So me personally, I do like the concept of the trading blows. I just don't want it to be to the point where it's something that just constantly happened over and over and over and we just going back and forth for a long time and nothing happened you know what i'm saying i do wish it get difficult and you know what i'm saying may the best man win or woman now like i was talking about in the last uh video i made which i didn't really get that deep into uh or i didn't show no game footage on it now i'm able to show some type of game footage on it as you can see right now they has a whole lot of things in the background you now you are able to break windows and stuff in the game the environment is actually an environment i like that and what i was talking about last time they actually have a working elevator where you're able to go up and down the elevator um i think they got soda machines back there where you are able to throw the, the sodas and all that at your opponent if you want to i do like the little extra thing that they added in the background you know what i'm saying the backstage area i just wish they have way more backstage areas uh i used to like it back in the day when i used to i was able to go inside the gm office and fight in a office and all that stuff that's back in the day when it used to be vince mcmahon in there i just hope that they add more backstage areas and it's just not those two areas that one area really that i've seen and that's the uh parking lot where the ambulance be at or no it's two it's the one it's the parking lot with the ambulance and then it's the um, the other one with the elevator and stuff like that I just hope they add it more unless the parking lot in the the spot where the elevator is, is is together or something like that i don't know i understand that they just now working on it i know it might take some time to really do i just like to see more more just more backstage you know do 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 they be having backstage brawl still now i'm just now starting to get back into the WWE. but anywho i just wish that they had more backstage areas bro that's all I wish. I just wish they had some some more. I remember back in the day, they used to have the brawl, the uh, baller room. They used to have a whole lot of areas, spots where you can fight, where like where they eat at, and or you can go all the way outside, all the way outside in front of the uh, arena. Like I wish that they had a lot more. You know what I'm saying? Just add more. I want more. That, I, I, I'm just saying. I that's that's me. I just want more, bro. I want to be able to do what I want to do when I want to do it. That's all I'm asking about, you feel me? But yeah, I'm liking that they have the uh, backstage brawl. I'm rocking with it. I just hope, which I know it's gonna take some time, that in the years they, they you know what I'm saying? They get better and better and start adding more areas in the back. But I don't know if they really go to the back like they do now, you feel me? I remember back then, they used to take it all the way to the bridge. Cause I remember when they threw that belt over the, into the water, you feel me? Like, I don't know, cuz. <laughs> I just wanna see more, that's all I'm saying now the next thing man is the ambulance match i'm rocking with the ambulance match uh can't wait to play it it's it seemed like it's as you wear your opponent down and then you throw them into the back of the ambulance it gives you that little uh mini game like if you're trying to tap somebody out which i don't have no issues doing that i'm, I'm gonna tap god you know what i'm saying so that should not be be difficult at all to do I heard that it's going to be a universe mode, it's supposed to be in every mode, even online mode. So, hey, I can't wait to get a little free ambulance matches in, you know what I'm saying? Uh, which this year I still will be into my faction, but I think I'm going to try to dabble in a little bit more, not just straight my faction. Um, I sat back and thought I might just go ahead and strictly be straight WWE on this channel and, and try to make sure I stay up on uh, upload as much as I can over here. Probably, I ain't going to say every day. I'm gonna try to see if I can upload every day, uh, but I probably start off every day because the game is fresh. But if the game starting getting boring and old and stale and all that stuff, it's probably gonna trickle down a little bit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm just keeping it 100, which. But I am liking that they do have the endless match, and I, I'm, I'm happy that they are deciding to add more game modes into the game just to make it more fun overall, give people a lot more stuff to do inside the game and enjoy the game for what it is you know what i'm saying but ambulance match ain't got no complaints now i don't know if this is something that a lot of people was asking for and really won't um i heard that they added more uh referees into the game now it's not just one type i guess no more um me personally i'm not going to sit here and lie to y'all i don't even pay attention to the refs at all the only time i pay attention to the ref is when i'm trying to throw somebody irish whip somebody into the corner and they in the way when I'm trying to throw them to the corner and it, and it stop the whole motion from, you know what I'm saying? That's the only, that's the only time I notice them. Other than that, I, I, I don't be paying attention to the refs <laughs> at all. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. So
So adding more reps into the game and all this stuff, man, um, it, it really doesn't do, do nothing for me. Now, the special guest referee, on the other hand, I am rocking with that. Um, the only thing, I feel like the only thing special guest referee would be for be good for me is if I'm playing with friends and family, something like that. But just to be in a special guest referee or something like that, ain't yeah, that, that, that ain't for me. Like, uh, I, I, but I feel like it would be good for like friends and family where I can screw one of my homeboys over, or, uh, family members over, or something like that, or j just just for the one of them to try to screw me over or something like that. And I might have to knock them out, and say, hey, bring in another ref or something like that. You hear me? I wish they had that in the game too. You know what I'm saying? You knock out one ref and they bring it into another, you know, bring another one out there because no disqualification, you know? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Things like that. I feel like special guests will be kind of decent and cool and all the other stuff. Um, but, you know, we really won't know until we get our hands on the game. So that's one of the things that I am. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm talking the way I'm talking because I don't want to talk too fast until I really get my hands on the game. I haven't played the game. The concept might be good, but the overall feature might be terrible. That's all I'm trying to say. Uh, I don't know how you can make a special guest referee terrible, but hey, anything is possible. <laughs> yeah. Now, this is one thing that I did not notice. Uh, I didn't even know they had it in the game. Uh, I just found out, man, shout out to, like I said, Smack Talks. Uh, go over there, give him a sub if you don't know who he is. If you want to step on anything with WWE uh, 2K, go on and go to him. He's he going to have way more info than I have. So, just trying to keep y'all, you know what I'm saying? Most of y'all probably already know who he is. You feel me? Uh, but anywho. They have new face paint features in the game where a character might come out with, with face paint, but over time, it kinda, it kinda like go away as he's fighting, he's sweating, he kinda sweat it out for a little bit like that. Now, I don't know if it's just for certain characters or if it's gonna be like, even if I created me a character, if I put face paint on him, would that start to deteriorate on him too? Now, that's something that we have to figure out and that's something we, we don't know. But one thing we do know is it, uh, when Ultimate Warrior come out, he come out with his whole face paint. And then as the match keep goes on, going on, his face paint keep, you know what I'm saying, kind of like rubs off a little bit. Hey, I ain't got no problems with it. Now, another thing that I just found out too, it was now they have a new, uh, new little features for uh, the announcement table. Now you are able to do actual moves off of the announcement table. And if you're just doing regular moves on it, it does not break the announcement table. You are able to keep doing what you want to do on it, uh, which is a W, I guess. Um, I think it's a W. I feel like the only time that you should really be breaking the announcement table is if you do a finisher. And that, that is the case at this moment. You have to have a finisher and do it on the, uh, on the table for it to actually break this year, which I feel like is... It's cool. I'm rocking with it. You know what I'm saying? Now it gives people a reason to go over there to actually use the table and and, and just have fun on it, you know? Uh, so that is cool to me. Like I said, everything that I'm talking about, man, y'all let me know y'all thoughts and opinions down at the bottom. These are just my thoughts and opinions. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> These are just my thoughts and opinions, man. But I would like to hear y'all's and y'all let me know if y'all think I'm crazy or y'all rocking with what I'm talking about. But the next one. This is one of the things that I, I was kind of like, what? Like, how you do all this? Woo -woo. At first, I thought you just needed one finisher to actually do your super finisher. But I found out that it takes three to actually uh, do your super finisher. And I think you are able to reverse it, too, if you reverse it right. So losing three finishers and somebody reverses is going to be crazy. But if you are able to actually do your super finisher on your opponent, one, your opponent loses their resiliency and it makes it a lot more harder for them to jump out of a pen. So that is a W. <laughs> That's a W. Do you know how many times I don't put a finisher on, well, online, offline, whatever, and they still jump out? Like the CPU is going to still jump out the first one regardless. Or online, bro, where you put your finisher on somebody and they just keep jumping out over and over and over and over and over. I guess because their timing is A1 or they on some, I don't know what they be on. But... To be able to have a mechanic in the game that if I put this finisher on you, the chances of you jumping out is slim to none, kind of. Well, you, got, you got like a little chance. It's, it, it's, it's fantastic. It's marvelous to me. You know what I'm saying? I rocks with it. You feel me? Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think about them. I do like the, the new curve stuff that they added to the game. I, I think y'all should be able to see that. Uh, me right now, I'm just giving my thoughts and my opinions. 
y'all get to see the footage i already seen the footage i just got it in the background for y'all to see what i'm talking about uh but but yeah i'm liking the curve stump uh by seth rollins off the top of the ropes and all the other stuff man but understand you need three finishes just to be able to do it you know what i'm saying but hey i think it's worth it that's just my opinion but yeah right there i think that's pretty much all of the new things that's inside the game that are some features that i don't know if y'all knew about that's inside the game then were just my opinions on what i think about each and every last one of them, one of them. like i said man leave it down in the comments what y'all think about everything you don't have to agree with me you don't the same way I, i'm not going to agree with you if i don't feel like i agree with you this right here is just a, just my thoughts to you know what I'm saying get y'all thoughts have a conversation you know what I'm saying? And, and go from there, bro. But uh, one thing that I said I did want to talk about, that's Universe Mode. Now, I heard that Universe Mode is going to have a free, a free new things inside of it. But ultimately, it's going to be the same thing. It's kind of a bummer. And I also heard that they they having a hard time with Universe Mode at this moment to actually implement a lot of things inside of it. Because I guess it's older or something. I don't, I don't know. I understand the concept of Universe Mode. I understand the concept of my rise. I understand the concept of uh, my gym. Now, this is why here is going to be just my opinion. My rise to me is a story. You go through, you complete whatever they tell you complete to see the end goal of the story. So my rise is its own entity. It's, I mean, well, it's its own thing. You feel me? Now, when it comes to my gym and universe mode, universe mode is supposed to be like my gym. It give you a lot more freedom to do what you want to do to handle whatever you got to handle if you want to set up matches go ahead if you want to add and jump in you can do that wooty woo wally wah now i haven't i didn't think that deep on it yet maybe i'll probably you know what i'm saying later on i might change my mind but at this moment i feel like i do like the the freedom to do what you want to do in the universe mode but i feel like it's pointless now since we have gm my gm um uh, i feel like majority of people that plays universe mode they play it like it's my gym a lot of people don't play the matches they set up the matches and watch the cpu fight like they just commentate over it they they don't really actually play the matches and then you got my gym where you able to do all that sign your characters uh, sign your wrestlers who you want on it they got the draft um you can you know you, you can set up how you want stuff certain things to set up now i think my gym is a little bit more bird bump well a little bit it don't have as much features i guess as uh it does over here in universe mode where you can set for someone to go run out uh you can you can set up a lot of things to make a lot of things happen as things go on plus with universe mode you're able to set up uh shows for like if you want to put ecw in and if you want to make your own aew or you want to make your own tna you have the, the the right to do all that like you can you know what i'm saying you can do all of that i just feel like when i hear a lot of people talk about universe mode when i the, the ones that i've seen so far most of them talk about universe mode and the features that they want inside universe mode are things that should be in gm mode if that makes sense there's nothing about like me i play universe mode for character development and i like to play that mode myself i like to see random cutscenes as i'm playing through because i don't like to control nothing i like for the mode to be random i like stuff to happen to my character even if i want it or want i don't want it to happen uh i would love for my character to sometimes do things on his own if he felt like it because i said i don't like this person i would like the the ability to jump into a match if i feel like it because i have a rivalry with uh uh the miz or whoever it is i would like to still have that option to say i want to jump in this match right here with him because i don't want him to win this belt like I, I i do want the option to do that i i like to play the game myself if that makes sense now i'm not trying to say anything everybody like how they like to do what they want to do i don't see it's a i don't see a reason um I don't see a problem with setting up matches and watching them or nothing like that uh, but i'm saying on my end i like to play the matches myself so when it comes to universe mode i look at it from that that point of view like i want it to be a lot of cutscenes. i want random things to happen i want to see if if charlotte flair gets mad and go jump in and hit uh real ripley or bianca Belair or oscar or bailey or you know what i'm saying whatever i would like to see them do 
something random you get what i'm trying to say i like the randomness because it gives you uh ideas on you know what you want to do i would love bailey just to walk up and say hey i want to be your manager what do you think and i want to i want the choice to say yeah no to it like i wish universe mode had that like i said with the my rise my rise is cool and everything i just hate that if i if i'm in a match and i actually lose that match that i gotta replay that match just to further along in the story i'm not saying that my rise is terrible no the concept of my rise is cool i like my rise and all that stuff bro but I, I want I want a mode where when I get in and if I lose, I lose. If I win that belt, I win that belt. If I'm in a match and I got a belt, a, a, a title match, I want somebody that don't like me to run in and stop me. Even though that somebody jumped me before that match, that now my body is red and some of my health is already gone, that, that I still got to try to come out on top and still win. But if I don't win, I don't get it. You get what I'm trying to say? I don't know if none of this stuff is making sense. This, this is when, when it comes to universe mode, these are the things that I think of of universe mode you know what i'm saying just random things happen that gives me ideals and freedoms to want to do way more stuff into the universe mode because of the randomness that happened that's just my thought on universe mode man this year is going to be a great year hope this year is going to be a fantastic year i hope all the modes work properly that was one of the things that was a problem in 22 that i can think of i know universe mode kept crashing over and over in 22 uh 23 online mode kept crashing over and over just please let the modes work <laughs> that's all i ask and the crazy thing is the online mode was terrible the whole year from the perspective of what i was looking at and i don't know about everybody else and y'all probably already found out what to do to stop it from messing up but for me it was messed up the whole year man but yeah man that's pretty much it man this is like a quick little video quick little rant to show y'all the new stuff and kind of rant a little bit about universe mode a little bit at the end but uh um, Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If y'all did, hit the like button, subscribe, and all that other good stuff, man. I'll get y'all on the next one. I'm out.